to a tutorial on how to assemble a 10 inch uh, Teeter's telescope. Uh, we're going to assume that you've just taken everything out of the shipping containers, uh, that everything looks okay, of course, and uh, you have everything laid out in front of you. Um, little parts are scattered about, and what we're going to start with is the primary mirror first, and then we're going to uh, show you how to put that into the mirror box. So to start off with, the primary mirror is going to come in this box here, and there's going to be some tape around the edge of the mirror. You're going to take it off, and this cover will then come off. You can put that off to the side, and you have your 10-inch mirror with a center dot in the middle. All right, so we're just going to lay, sit that over there, cover it back up. Make sure you always keep it covered when you're not working on it, just to keep it safe. So we'll come over here. This is the 10 inch mirror box. Now the best way to do this is to take and put it up on a table or workbench of some sort. And what I find to be the easiest thing to do is to take and lean it forward. Okay, so we have it leaning forward on something nice and stable so it doesn't rock around too much. And on this particular 10 inch we have an Aurora Precision mirror cell. It's a little bit different than the normal mirror cells I use. Um, so I'll just walk through real quick how to unhinge it. You have two thumb screws here, and there's two more thumb screws on this other side of the mirror box on the side here. So two and two. These simply unthread. All right, now I always find it good to support the mirror cell just so it doesn't get too wild. So these you can take and pull out and put off to the side. Same thing over here, these two will come in. Okay, and then again, support the mirror cell because it's going to come unhinged right there. Okay. Now, on the Aurora Precision mirror cell, what you have is a solid lower edge support, so no sling. And you have four mirror clips. So a clip here, a clip here, one here, and one here. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the mirror, uncover it, take it, and this is just going to rest. And now we get the mirror clips out of the way, and it should sit right in there, like so. Now there are two little nylon thumb screws right here and here. They're already snugged up so that the mirror doesn't move too much. When you get the mirror, there should only be about a sixteenth of an inch play right to left and top and bottom. So you want to give that little bit of play for the mirror to expand and contract uh, due to temperature differences. So now what you do is you just take the mirror clips, swing them in front. Remember all four. And now that's done. And with the thumb screws in hand, you're going to take and lift the mirror into place. And then you just want to take the hinge blocks and sort of push them up into place. And then we're going to start threading the bolts back in. And then we'll continue with another section on how to assemble your 10-inch uh, uh, Teeter's Telescope.